What's up guys, it's Sydney and I'm back for season 2 of my new channel, Miss DIY. So, I figured, why not kick off the new season with an ancient art and a craft that everyone loves. But for those of you who haven't done it, I'm here to show you. Today, we're, I'm going to teach you how to make a sundial. Now, for those of you who don't know what a sundial is, or just haven't studied your history, here's a little lesson. Before we had watches or phones, like the one I'm recording this video on, Romans em the Roman Empire used sundials to tell time, based on direction, sunlight, and shadowing. And I'm going to teach you how to make yours. It may take a few tweaks as well as with a little trial and error, but eventually you'll get it. I promise. Now, let's just get into it. To do this craft, you'll need a paper plate, a plastic straw, and a marker or other decorating materials. However, if you're gonna use a Sharpie, I recommend adult supervision at all times. For the first step, number the outside edge in a circle one through 12 like you would see on a normal clock face. Leave some room in the center, however, for the hole that you'll punch later, or that an adult will. The next step for kids at home is to have an adult punch a hole through the center of the plate. This is where your straw will go later on to determine the time of the clock. The next step is to poke your straw through the hole that an adult helped you make earlier. However, there is a catch for the sundial to work. If you live in the Northern Hemisphere, have your straw facing slightly towards the North Pole. If you live in the Southern Hemisphere, have your straw facing slightly south. An adult will help you determine which hemisphere you live in and a compass to help you point the right direction. Once you're actually finished making the sundial, take it outside, keep it there on an hourly basis to check to make sure if it works. Mine didn't work at first, but I was still able to get it to work. You just need to tweak it a little. Anyway, thanks for watching today's video. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and hit notifications so you can always be notified about a new video. Tell me how your sundial turned out in the comments below. Until then, happy crafting!